Hey, hey, welcome to All Mama All Right. Hope everyone is doing fabulously, or however you're doing, I hope you're feeling into it fully and loving or hating it, because you will be all right. I just spent the day, I'll do a little day recap and then go into my fun piece of mail that I received. Z and I played, we got to play with some. Uh, extended family, my aunt and uncle, so Zena's great aunt and uncle, are here from Kansas City, and they were a staple, Aunt Betsy and Uncle Mike, and they were a staple in my life, especially when I went to the University of Kansas, and I had mentioned Uncle Mike being a rock when I was deep in my addiction, my disease, and alcoholism, and him just being very patient and waiting for me to be ready to receive help and open up to to that. And he'd always leave little hints and books and um and fun things. <laughs> well, you know, I <laughs> fun things, quote unquote, but reality checks here and there. And um and you know, I was always able to find a bed or a couch at their place, which was very convenient. And so they were here and they got to see where we live and we got to go to lunch downtown and go to one of um, a favorite gallery and see some art that Aunt Betsy loves and that was fun. And then I had to rush home and get Z down for her nap because of course she was talk, 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 knowing that her special guests were going to come and see her this morning. So she never actually fell asleep for her morning nap. And that is all right because she fell asleep a little in the car ride on the way home. And then I, you know, it's, it's one of those, I hate waking her up, but since she is such a good sleeper and I'm sure every child is different that I am able to wake her up if she falls asleep in the car and move her straight to her crib. And I, I hear of parents who just drive around or stay in the car with their child while they sleep. And I don't know why I never thought to do that. I think it may be because I remember as a kid always waking up in the car with, and my parents wouldn't be there. And I'd be like, what the fuck? This is terrifying. Yeah, I would play cool. So I don't remember ever like screaming. I don't know, but I, I do remember that pretty, pretty vividly. Usually I wasn't the only kid in the car that fell asleep, so, because I, I have three siblings pretty close in age, uh, but I always move Z and then she goes right back to bed, so that's where she is right now, and anyway, so I I don't know what I was going to share about, but I think my, my parents are getting ready to move to Idaho, and I don't think, I think I'm playing the same card my mom is as it's not a move. They're they're not moving. They're just going for an extended visit. And when they come back, it's going to be as if they never left. And we can still use a childhood home. Like, I don't think I've really sat down. Well, now I'm about to cry. Because it is going to be, you know, different. They've been able to come up you know, me calling them the day before saying, hey, do you want to come up and play with Z and I? Or, or heck, you know, selfishly, I've, I've had certain appointments that have been, um, you know, long, long appointments. And, and it, it's always great to have, have a grandparent be able to watch, watch Zena. And um, so that's going to be a little shift, a shift. And, uh, and it's just going to be different not having, my my parents around it's gonna feel like back in uh you know college when I was away and um and yeah but I think it's going to be I know it's gonna be great they're gonna you know Idaho is such a beautiful beautiful state and uh, fabulous people that we've met so far and I just can't wait to because my mom asked me what I I want out of the trip when we when we go there and I just said I want to see you and dad going to your favorite places and in your home and so I can picture 
you guys in places as you know as I'm thinking about about you and um and that's comforting and that's comforting that's something that I like to do with all of my my peeps is like see see where they work and you know and picture their day-to-day as I'm talking to them on the phone or or et cetera, et cetera. And um, yeah, so it's going to be such a gift being able to, to help them move and, um, and quite an adventure driving from good old Bay Area, San Francisco to uh, McCall, Idaho is a, a Caldwell. Caldwell is where they live now. Yeah. So, so it's gonna be fun. It's going to be fun. I'll keep everyone updated on my Instagram for sure. But this is just something that my mom sent via mail. And it is, they've obviously, they're doing spring cleaning or house cleaning because they're, they're moving. And um, it is uh, an ongoing email thread and chain between a bunch of moms back in 2005 so in 2005, uh, that's when I graduated from high school. And these are all of my friends' mamas. And um, you know who you are if you're listening to this. And I just, this is hilarious. They have a mom job description. And so I kind of want to uh, read it. And I'm sure everyone... Well, we'll see. I haven't read it. I literally just opened it and I was like, okay, this is going to be the perfect, perfect little topic. And, um, okay. So this is back in, uh, so February 22nd, 2005. How fun. Yeah. These are literally all my, all my friends, all my friends, mom. So this is great. Um, so position, mother, mom, mama, mommy, mom job description. Long-term team players needed for challenging permanent work in an often chaotic environment. Candidates must possess excellent communication and organizational skills and be willing to work variable hours, which will include evenings and weekends and frequent 24-hour shifts on call. Some overnight travel required, including trips to primitive camping sites on rainy weekends and endless sports, tournaments in faraway cities, travel expenses not reimbursed, extensive courier duties also required. That sounds pretty, pretty spot on right there. I would also include willing to get extremely dirty at times and not guaranteed change of clothing on scene. Um, And that, you know, has everything to do with poop and piss and Vomit and milk and all that, all those good stuff. Um, okay, responsibilities. The rest of your life. <laughs> Must be willing to be hated, at least temporarily, until someone needs $5. Must be willing to bite tongue repeatedly. Also, must possess the physical stamina of a pack mule and be able to go from zero to 60 miles per hour in three seconds flat in case. This time, the screams from the backyard are not someone just crying wolf. Must be willing to face stimulating technical challenges, such as small gadget repair, mysteriously sluggish toilets, and stuck zippers. Must screen phone calls, maintain calendars, and coordinate production of multiple homework projects. Must have ability to plan and organize social gatherings for clients of all ages and mental outlook. Must be willing to be indispensable one minute and embarrassment the next. Must handle, I love how everything's like must. There's no like, would be nice, we would like, or like some responsibility things. It's like all these are must. Um, Must handle assembly and product safety testing for a half million cheap cheap plastic toys and battery operated devices must always hope for the best but be prepared for the worst must assume final complete accountability for the quality of the end product oh crap oh that's awesome 
responsibilities also include floor maintenance and janitorial work throughout the facility. There we go, the janitorial work. Um, possibility for advancement and promotion. Virtually none. Your job is to remain in the same position for years without complaining, constantly retraining, retraining and updating your skills so that those in your charge can ultimately surpass you. <laughs> Previous experience, none required, unfortunately. On-the-job training offered on a continually exhausting basis. Oh, that is priceless. Because it is true. I mean, when I left the hospital, it was like, what the hell? They're letting me leave with a human that now I have to take care of and have no idea how to take care of. It was pretty, you know, uh, eye-opening that, you know, anyone could have F. The second that you leave the hospital, it's like, okay, now I'm the only one that can fuck this kid up. Um, wages and compensation. Get this. You pay them. <laughs> Offering frequent raises and bonuses. A balloon payment is due when they turn 18 because of the assumption that college will help them become financially independent. When you die, you give them whatever's left. The oddest thing about this reverse salary scheme is that you actually enjoy it and wish you could only do more. Mine, that's a brain fuck. That is so true and so comical. Um, and I'm, I'm more so thinking of my, like what I did with my mom as opposed, or my parents, as opposed to like me having experience doing this. Um, I can see, I can relate to some already, but definitely like now knowing what I as a daughter was you know did for my mom and now me knowing I'm gonna have all that with Zena is pretty cool um okay benefits well no health or dental insurance no pension no tuition reimbursement no paid holidays no stock options are offered this job supplies limitless opportunities for personal growth and free hugs for the for your life if you play your cards right Oh, well, that's true. I plan on playing my cards right. I think this this is just too, too perfect. So that is the job description of a mom. And um, yeah, I definitely, I definitely can, can relate and look forward to being able to relate for, you know, the rest of my life. Maybe even come up with my own job description at one point. Um, but what else did she say? So this is about why God made mothers. So, and I'll just quickly, quickly read this. Um, yeah, this is funny. Um, so the following are different answers given by young school age children to the given questions. So why did God make mothers? This is what kids said about, about the answer or the question. Um, she's the only one who knows where the scotch tape is. It's very insightful. Uh, think about it. It was the best way to get more people, mostly to clean the house, to help us out of there when we were getting born. To help us out of there when we were getting born. I'm not sure what that is. How did God make mothers? He used dirt just like for the rest of us. Magic plus superpowers and a lot of stirring. He made my mom just the same as he made me. He just used bigger parts. That's cute. Why did God give your mother, give you your mother and not some other mother? We're related. Oh, that's good. That's nice. Uh, God knew she likes me a lot more than other people's moms like me. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Oh, let's see. What ingredients are mothers made of? God makes mothers out of clouds and angel hair and everything nice in the world. And one dab of mean. Uh, to, they had to get their start from men's bones. Then they mostly use string, I think. Oh, interesting that that answer because again these are these are answers from young young school age children um let's see how did your mom meet your dad mom was working in a store and dad was shoplifting that is brilliant um 
what makes a real woman? It means you have to be really bossy without looking bossy. That is unfortunately true. Um, let's see. What does your mom do in her spare time? Mothers don't do spare time. To hear her tell it, she pays bills all day long. Oh, that's so funny. Um, let's see. What's the difference between moms and dads? Moms work at work and work at home, and dads just got to work at work. Amen. Two, moms know how to talk to teachers without scaring them. Three, dads are taller and stronger, but moms have all the real power because that's who you got to ask if you want to sleep over at your friend's house. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Uh, let's say, oh, these are great. Well, this is very much like, you know, an idea for what I can be posting on, on, um, Instagram. Uh, and, and stuff like that is like, you know, these, these are just, whole, I'm sure there's a ton of memes out there about like what mom, what the kids say about their moms and, and dads. And, um, let's see, this is a little wisdom. And, uh, in this, let's see, this looks a little fun. Let's see here. Okay, so great truths that little children have learned. No matter how hard you try, you can't baptize cats. Cool. When your mom is mad at your dad, don't let her brush your hair. If your sister hits you, don't hit her back. They always catch the second person. Never ask your three-year-old brother to hold a tomato. You can't trust dogs to watch your food. Don't sneeze when someone is cutting your hair. Ah! Never hold a dustbuster and a cat at the same time. You can't hide a piece of broccoli in a glass of milk. Don't wear polka dot underwear under white shorts. Oh, that's for adults too. The best place to be when you're sad is grandpa's lab. I would say, yeah, grandpa, grandma's lab. Great truths that adults have learned. Raising teenagers is like nailing jello to a tree. Wrinkles don't hurt. I really like that one. Families are like fudge, mostly sweet with a few nuts. Today's mighty oak is just yesterday's nut that held its ground. Laughing is good exercise. It's like jogging on the inside. I love that. Middle age is when you choose your cereal for the fiber, not the toy. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, great truths about growing old. Growing up is mandatory. Growing old is optional. One million percent. I strongly believe that. Forget the health food. I need all the preservatives I can get. When you fall down, you wonder what else you can do while you're down there. You're getting old when you get the same sensation from a rocking chair that you once got from a roller coaster. It's frustrating when you know all the answers, but nobody bothers to ask you the questions. Oh, I bet that is frustrating. I'm going to talk to Baba more. Time may be a great healer, but it's a lousy beautician. Wisdom comes with age, but sometimes age comes alone. Oh, that's good. The four stages of life. You believe in Santa Claus. You don't believe in Santa Claus. You are Santa Claus. You look like Santa Claus. Brilliant. Success. Success at age, so at age 12, success is having friends. Yep. At age 16, success is having a driver's license. Yep. At age 35, success is having money. Sure. At age 50, success is having money. Oh, that's so sad. I wouldn't say maybe having family at 35. Um, oh, wait, having money. Yep. At age 70, success is having a driver's license. At age 75, success is having friends. Oh, my God, I love that. It's literally just like a, yeah, that's brilliant. That is brilliant. Oh, well, I hope you enjoyed that little 
that little thing. And this is just the olden day way of Instagram, basically. This is just like emails that um, that my mom printed out and uh, and probably had, you know, by her desk or, or somewhere in the house. And I'm sure she looked at it, you know, when she needed a good giggle or good, everything's going to be all right. And just you know, I, I love the certain things about growing old and you know, the job description of a mom and and the fact that we can all relate to something, to something, you know, to just just the fact that we're all we're all moms or even um, considering to be moms. It's just it is it is beautiful. And one thing that I really enjoyed about today was I got to speak about all mama all right as if it was already was in play and and it is it is it's just it's it's we're still very much behind the scenes and I say we because it is a we even though I'm I'm all mama all right I you know it's not an I building this platform because it's not going to be a platform unless it involves all of you and I just want to find, you know, easier and easier ways or ways to make your day easier and easier and easier and your life and your, your, you know, brain to quiet and just get quieter and quieter and quieter in the best way possible. Um, so you can be present and be love and be just find the support where, where it's where it's shown and I can't wait to, to to keep doing this I am doing this and I'm loving it and on that note maybe go and write your own job description for you as a mom and we can all compare someday and I know that that would be because it is for a lifetime and it's going to be the rest of my life beautiful is the first word that comes to mind um happy joyous and free in the craziest and most chaotic of ways i'm sure and now on that note this moment is signing off have a groovy groovy rest of your morning day night love and light y'all <laughs>